Good afternoon. Relatives of a man who died after being detained by the police are holding a news conference this lunchtime following the announcement this week that no officers will face criminal charges. The family of Kingsley Burrell are expected to continue their three-year campaign to establish the true circumstances of his death. He was taken to hospital after police officers were called to a disturbance at a mental health unit in Birmingham where he'd been detained. While well, Matilda McCattram from the campaign group Black Men Mental Health joins us now from our studios in London. Matilda, what are your feelings about the lack of any criminal charges? Um, the news comes as a huge disappointment and um, there's um, a real concern because um, we know the family and not only the family but also the community have been waiting um, more than three years to um, see at least closure or this issue addressed and it seems like um, justice has been denied once again. And why are deaths in custody involving people from African Caribbean descent with mental health issues a particular concern to you? Well we're very concerned because um, Kingsley Barry Brown, the Kingsley Barry Brown case is not isolated sadly. Um, I'm sure your um, viewers know of the case of Leon Briggs and also Sean Rigg and Oliseni Lewis. Um, we see um, far too many cases of physically healthy men um, being restrained either by mental health professionals or even more disturbing the police and losing their lives. Um, this is an issue that has increasingly become one of national concern and Kingsley Borough Brown's case is, is almost like seminal in this instance. What needs to change do you think? Well, what we really need to see is accountability. We can't have um, people who are supposed to be in the care of the state, um, who are physically healthy, losing their lives in preventable circumstances. When this does happen, um, people responsible need to, need to be as accountable as anyone in the public would be if a similar incident was to happen. Matilda McCatram, thank you. Next is London.